Happy Friday, Tor. Happy Friday, Consuela. You're laughing already because I think you know I was going to apologize to you for being so bitchy before we started. <laughs> I don't, no apology is needed. Here. It's just uh, there's it's a, a time. It's a little bit more challenging than usual. Yes, yes, it was. Uh, I think it's just because I was being more fussy over the picture. Like, you were being a little fussy. A little fussy. And I get it. Yeah. It's like it's not. Uh, so that that brings us to where where we are more or less. All right. Because well. it's not, as I said when we when you arrived here, it's not necessarily designed for photogenic. No. But. Uh, well, we, okay, that's well, but that's okay. where you started off with some tone when you're like, look, and I'm like, look, I'm like, excuse me. That's what I'm thinking in my head because I'm like, how are we going to work? Like, let me back up. Cause I'm pushed in really tight on us. But when I pull yes. back, this is where you put us. And yes. I understand why we're here and we're going to talk about it in a minute, but yeah. this is where you put us. And I'm like, um, how's this going to work? How are you going to take a picture? What's my camera angle going to be? And then you're like, look, <laughs> the sim isn't very photogenic, but that's not the reason we're here. And I'm like, wow, somebody's got an attitude about. <laughs> so that's how we started out. But the thing is, you know, I add the emphasis because <clears throat> you don't talk that way. It was just, it was no. in your normal like tour tone. Why don't you, why don't you use like model for the people what it actually sounded I... like? Because I'm giving you what I heard. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I can just recreate it. Recreate it. Band. There you go. Yes, you can go. Well, I was, you, you had launched into that like <laughs> series of rapid fire questions about how to actually do it, and I was, I was just like, "Look, we're we're not here because it's photogenic. We're here because it's a good cause." See, that was a great reenactment. <laughs> but when you're like, "Look," and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> to me, that's just not you know. It's just not, it's first of all, it's not usually the way you talk to me. Secondly. It's, but at the same time, you didn't say it in a way like you were trying to be like, look, bitch, this is how it is. Like, that's not how, that's not where you were going, but that's where my brain no. went. Oh. So, but I know better. It's just, that's the mood I came home in. And yeah. you already knew this because you got to hear like an hour's worth yes. of venting. <laughs> yes, I did. So, yes, I did. Yeah. So anyway. So, and then I was fussing uh. over the picture because you had sent me a few variations and I'm like, we're not on the same plane. Now you're staring the camera down and that's creepy. Now you're, now you're giving me full profile. What the hell are you doing? Are you fucking in, with me? In my credit, every one of those things I was doing exactly <laughs> what you asked me to do. I don't know about exactly. You said, look towards the camera. <laughs> and then you ended up staring it down camera. and it was creepy. Then you said, look to look at me. And, and then you gave full profile to the camera. So normally we don't have these struggles. And I'm like, what is wrong today? Apparently it's me and the energy I came home with that's just fucking everything uh, up. No, no, gosh. So. Oh, goodness. Anyway, so that's where we started already. So. Uh, yes. But now we're facing each other because this is what I wanted. Yes. <laughs> so we're just staring at yes, each other yes. as opposed to looking at the camera at all. But. Anyway, and that's okay. It is. So, do you want to elaborate on where we are? First of all, you set the tone for the styling, and you selected the sim. So, I'm not trying. You know, we already started talking about the sim a little bit. I came back so people could kind of see what it was. Like you said, it, we didn't come here because it's photogenic, and not yes. that it's ugly, but you know, trying to take a picture. And I get why you put us here because it's like like DJ stuff right yes it's so, dj stuff and also it has like one of the biggest signs for rocky or rack uh -huh. which is the uh the this event this venue yeah. um mm -hmm. and it's like it's the whole sim yeah. we're just at one of the stages that is not currently in use uh it sounds like it's a 10 day uh like music fest more mm -hmm. or less mm -hmm. and um yeah, so this is one of the stages, and it is to raise, you know, money and awareness for uh, fighting breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, continuing the, the pink theme of the month, yeah. at least for now. Yeah, and yeah. it's it's it, this is interesting to me on, on two levels, because it inspires two stories in my head. Mm -hmm. 
The first is I asked you, do you know the story of this? And you're mm-hmm. like, you were going to, like, I don't know, look it up or something. I was like, no, no, I have, well, like, part of the story. I was going to say that I knew of the, what, I only knew what I had read from the, like, description from the thing, because this is in one of the recommended destination mm-hmm, things mm-hmm. From, from Second Life. But. So where my head went, though, is that I am very familiar with this event. I can't say that I've ever participated in it, but I know of the person who started it. So mm-hmm. the creator is Jamie Sandalwood, um, mm. and she started a, an organization called Models Giving Back. And then this is uh, one of the fundraising, like charitable events that they put on and probably the most prominent one. Um, okay. So, uh, and I was on the website. I'm, I'm sharing the website in the description because as, as I was explaining to you before, it doesn't show up very nicely in my like squished internet window. So I don't want to do them a disservice with that. But um, I'm the linking the website. Also not very photogenic. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, well, so it's like I said, it just doesn't lend itself to a reduced screen. That's all I'm saying. Um, so. <laughs> So it's she started Models Giving Back in 2012. And what I couldn't remember, because I was modeling back then in SL, um, and as I was sharing with you, one of the things that models, that kind of became a part of some of the modeling competitions, at least like Miss Virtual World, for example, is mm-hmm. that each contestant or candidate or whatever you want to call us um, um, had like a charitable cause. And Mm. so I'm not really sure that that's where this came from for Jamie, because I don't know her story like that. Um, But that's what it reminded me of, is those types of modeling competitions, which still may occur today. Like I said, I've been out of the modeling side of SL for quite some time now. But um, but it's not it was not unusual to have um, a competition where the model had a charitable cause. And so that's where my mind went. But when you brought us here, And when you teleported me here, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know Rocky (laughs) Rack. Yeah. So that's where that's the one story. The other story that came to mind with this, because it's about breast cancer Mm -hmm. awareness, is um, at my school recently, um, someone had proposed an idea to me about like just wanting to wear pink, right, for breast cancer awareness. And I feel like I may have come off as, um, I don't want to say insensitive, but it was like she, you know they're proposing it to me and i'm like but what what more is there it's more than just wearing pink Mm. right like the the idea was brought Mm -hmm. to me for like the kids to like have a spirit day or something right let's wear pink for breast cancer and i'm like but what are you doing to educate or to help you know provide the community information where they could contribute to the cause right right so to me it just felt like well wearing pink that doesn't in my head anyway and people can comment in the just in the comments but just wearing pink to me isn't sufficient it seemed very superficial so i yes, felt like so... i needed more to go with that than just wearing pink but when i was trying to explain that to the person i was talking to they were kind of looking at me like huh <laughs> so mm-hmm. it sounds like you have a thought on that go ahead um no i i agree with you and it's actually um that's actually kind of a, a friction point that a, a number of uh, activist groups have sometimes is there often are people who enjoy signaling their support mm-hmm. but are not able to really t- uh, get into advocating right um, and being able to educate on and uh, actually like like I said, spread awareness about mm-hmm. um, is is definitely part of that. If if you if you're wanting to put on the mantle, you do need to be able to talk to it and yeah. need need to be not only able to but like willing and eager to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's where my head went um, because this was a recent topic for me. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I I wasn't trying to shoot down anyone's idea, although it may have come off that way. Um, but it, it was just that I want more. That's a great idea, but I want it to be more than superficial. Like if you're right. going to do this, do it in a, in a meaningful way, in a way that helps promote awareness and supports the cause. Right. So, um, so I don't know. It's still, it's still being negotiated, but that's where my mind went when we came here for those, those, those two yeah. things. So, oh, so much story time right at the opening. 
of our video. <laughs> I also want to say I'm, we're actually doing this on Friday as opposed to Saturday morning. Um, we are doing this on because Friday. I had a, I was I managed to be able to get home at a decent time. So and I had the energy yeah. and the desire for it for sure. You definitely brought the energy. <laughs> I am I apologize that I am not matching your energy level, but I, uh, I think I think I'm waking you up. You know, like when I come in with my <laughs> demands and you're like, "Look, Consuela." <laughs> cool your engines i'm doing my best and doing exactly what you ask me to do <laughs> i think you're you know i i brought that energy and it just woke you up i feel like you're gonna be fine you'll be fine <laughs> so all right you also were the reason why we're styled as we are so i i yes. give you permission to face the camera <laughs> you don't have to look at me uh, anymore can you turn outward well what if i want to face you no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. There. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Now yeah, that's okay. what. Okay. All right. So tell yeah. the people why this outfit. Where? What are you wearing? Okay. So what am I wearing first? Mm -hmm. uh, I am rocking this. Uh, this is a new shirt from Butterscotch. Okay. It's called the Travis shirt. Uh huh. I've paired it with the Kai pants, sandals, and a set of tassels and a oh, bracelet yeah. also mm -hmm. from butterscotch mm -hmm. looks really nice yeah now for my glasses i'm rocking the carter glasses from skn uh -huh. and i still have my jack spoon i uh guy liner guy liner, guy liner. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. i could tell because it really added to the creep factor when you were staring down the camera and that one missed shot that you took <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And I have this uh, No Saint Hair On by No Match. Okay. Uh-huh. And, um, that's great. Yeah. So that's, that sounds like that's my whole look. Okay. And so, um, but oh. I did uh, want to add that the color palette I chose, I didn't want to go like, you know, hard, hard pink, but mm -hmm. I wanted to be in that family. Okay. So that's, that's where I kind of played around with my coloring. Okay, very good. All right, so for me, I was trying to match your chill vibe, and so <laughs> I was looking for casual um, clothing, and I stumbled back into the mug part of my inventory. And so I want to say this is the Eliza top and pants. Eliza or Eliza? Eliza. Mm, yeah, um, Eliza. And then I know the hair is Faga, because I was going to put on Truth, and I was like, you know what? Truth's been doing a lot of fun collabs with Faga. And so then I went to look for Faga, and so, and I technically, you know, because, like, I don't I don't know if we could call Faga a, a fliff. Like, I can, because they were um the, the birthday bash. They were, they were yes, in the they collab the there. Bash. Yep. Mm -hmm. So um, this is Lenora, if I remember right. I had to go. Leona. Leona, Leona. sorry. Um, mm -hmm. I like how they do their streaks right so that's a little yeah, bit more believable for me really nice. yeah mm -hmm. and um i had to go back to the store because they didn't <laughs> i had neglected to buy the style hood but i'm also kind of bothered uh, when the style hood is not in the thing yeah i don't know that's become a thing where you you have your different huds that you buy and the style hood sometimes can be outside of the package because it is with some hair makers some yeah. yeah so i just ran to the store real quick to go get that um, I am wearing SKN glasses as well. I forget what these are called. Can you tell the people what they're called? Those are Terry glasses. Yep. And I wanted it because it's got pink and stripes because my outfit has stripes on. Um, Looks great. I didn't bother with eye makeup because I knew I was going to do glasses today. So I didn't put in, on any eyeliner or anything. Yeah. Um, my lips are still, um, they're slack girl because I have okay. bought the whole like Akaruka hd lip lines she's got like 20 plus lipsticks i'm just making my way through them um Heck she's yeah. she's not um a fliff designer but she you know i like her akaruka lipsticks um yeah. i am still refusing to take off my vici duck nails until she gives me new vici duck nails so <laughs> i'm just gonna keep wearing those and i've got my micro glitter on from alt three because you know i'm not taking that off until she makes more body glitter mm -hmm. um i was this is not a fliff designer because it's Avaway or Avaway. I'm not sure how you want to say that, but I was really excited that she's doing rigged jewelry for Reborn. And I want to say, was it, what's this one called? Beloved, Adored, something like that. It's at the Reborn event. Um, but um, Avaway, Avaway, however you want to say it. Um, <laughs> I love them. She used to just rig for Maitreya. 
and that worked for me for a short time and then i met you and then mm -hmm. um then i switched to legacy and then it, it still sometimes worked because she was starting a rig for legacy and then reborn happened and yes. then i was out of it because she wasn't rigging much if anything for reborn so i stumbled but then you started at a reborn event yep and i said oh i got to turn my attention back to avaway um, yeah. And so, and then I can set the initial on this if you see it's a B. Um, so there's a, yeah. you know, you can set the initials. So I thought that was cute. Um, mm -hmm. And then the slippers are also mug. And I think I've worn these before. I want to say they're the, I forget what they're called. Can you help me out? Heather. Heather? Heather. Okay. And then I am wearing, I'm still rocking my oh my's, which is appropriate because, like I said, the lyrium is that more kind of cutesy posing. And for yeah. the attitude I've been rocking the last several weeks, it's definitely oh my. <laughs> like, that's just fair. Don't mess with me. <laughs> and because I like that eye focus too, it's like you just kind of stare people down, like don't even think about it. Don't. Yeah. That's what that I, eye, I really eye focus like the does. Eye focus. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah. So with that, um, I, I usually then look at my um, internet window. So let me get that up. But. Um, Actually, can you link me all? Well, no, I was going to say, can you link the pictures that you took? Because you took them and then you shared them and then you took them down. But you don't, you don't need to. Okay. Well, don't you think they people would be amused at seeing what the pictures actually look like? They might be. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to open up my internet window. I'm sending them. Okay. So um, the first thing I have is the Second Life Weekly. They did send one. It's about um, Halloween events in Second Life. So haunted Halloween events, dive into our latest blog post to uncover the thrilling details of our upcoming Halloween festivities, which include, so they have their um, third annual trick or treat event in Belisaria. Um, they have a 20 to the hop and shop because our shop and hop, you know, how I feel about those, but you know, I'm sure mama Lala will hit every single one, every store. And nice. then, and then tell me about how she didn't like most of it. That's usually what happens. <laughs> um, and then, uh, oh, they have Halloween last names. We're not changing ours, uh -oh. but I want to check and see. Maybe can you pull that up real quick? Just, I want to uh, take a look at the Halloween last names. Um, and then, um, actually, I should just click the thing because it says learn more. They're probably going to tell me about Halloween last names. Let's go find out. Learn more. Let's go. Um, let's see. You're, Trick or treat. Yeah, you're, you're operating off better information than I am. Here, Halloween last names. Think. Okay. Batty, Morbid, mm -hmm. Calavera. Oh, nice. Oh, Shadow. Vampur, is that like vampur? <laughs> is that what they're trying to say? Like, like Cardi? I was vampur. Mm, I don't know. That's how I read it. I was thinking more like a vampire cat. I know, but I see Cardi in that. Yeah, that's fair. Because I have that that one gesture that's like okay yeah. or whatever the brr, whatever she does. Yep. Um, Stoker, Reaper, and Shiver. Okay. So limited time Halloween last name. So if you are in the market for a new last name, there you go. If I was, I would be picking Galavera. Yeah, for sure. I do. I do like that. Galavera. That's that's Galavera. the winner out of that list for me. Definitely. So, anyway, so that was the last names. Okay, so, um, and then just scrolling, there's the Halloween trick or treat. Then there's the shop and hop, where Mama Lala. You know, remember? I don't know if I, I can't remember if you and I were talking about this, but she was going through her Halloween outfits. Do you remember that? Like, I feel like Mama uh, Lala was going through her Halloween outfits like months ago. I I know she was going through her Halloween outfits yeah. when I sent her a couch, and she that's sent what it was. Yep, a gif of her with bloody, uh, yeah, yeah, staining uh -huh. the couch immediately yeah. with a bloody axe or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so because she's ready, I'm, it's already six days in. She's probably already worn six uh, outfits. Probably, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the Halloween last names, and then oh, there's a Halloween premium gift. This is some kind of tractor, and a, and a tractor with a wagon if you're premium plus. Oh, Speaking got... of Halloween events, mm -hmm. um, we do want to get ahead of saying we're probably not going to be doing Flifty because we're going to be, at whatever time we have to fit in, we're going to be <laughs> doing Fliffoween. Yep. Yep. So Whenever Fliffoween opens. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So let's see. Then the um, in the blog, they had um, Cycling Made in Second Life, SL Cycling Federation. Mm. Um so I'm going to play their little video. My name in Second Life is... Oh, we're going to mute that. <laughs> I came on real <laughs> loud for a second. Um, so I like to play the videos when we're talking about them. So um, let's see. Early 2021 to promote cycle racing in Second Life. Okay. Very cool. Hmm. 
So. All right, very cool. I was just reading some of it. People can check that out. We have that linked. Um, then uh, we also had, you had already, already shared, you had linked me the Halloween information, but then I shared that. So um, before yes. we get to Seraphim, I do want to look at the, the pictures. Did you send me all the pictures? I did. Okay, so is this, that's not the first picture. They're not in order. Oh, here I they are. Yeah, just posted them as a cluster and discord decided whatever order, order it wants them in okay so i see the f i think this is the first one where you're like yeah this is the first one where i'm like we're what are we looking at <laughs> and then and then i'm like you need to look i said you need to be on the same plane as me or something or you took that as look into the camera and then you did you you said you're it three quarters you need to be looking more at the camera or you can be on the same plane as me yeah and you chose stare the camera down which i turned towards the camera <laughs> and then i said no you need to face me and then mm -hmm. it became this and i'm like tour uh, are you fucking and i was right facing now? you you were so literal okay but yes i i am if you say do this thing i try to do that thing to the best of my ability okay okay <laughs> so i can appreciate I need that to be looking at the camera i'm gonna look at the camera if you say yeah. face me i'm gonna try to face you <laughs> yeah so i feel like okay there's one two three and then we ended up with what's gonna be the thumbnail and people will see it on the video but I wanted to share that to illustrate the, just what we were talking about at the start <laughs> to go with our story. We need the visuals to go with our story. So anyway, that aside, here's I'm on Seraphim now. So hmm. um, it doesn't look like they have any um, MIA designers. So okay. um, how many sponsors? It looks like a longer fliff. We have four sponsors this okay. week. Okay. Okay. We have uh, Butterscotch. Mm -hmm. Um. We have Offline, we have Roslyn, and Tori Torricelli. Okay. All right. Very good. I think with all the storytelling, we should probably get started, unless you have anything else you want to point out or call me out mm -hmm. on for being difficult. No, no. We can go ahead and get started. Head to the Butterscotch Tori Torricelli Cafe. All right. Sounds good. All right, tour. I would ask you where we're going as I threw a coffee over my shoulder, but you had already told us before we even left the Rocky Rack. Yes. And you were commenting as after we faded that I needed something in my hand, but I'm like, we're just going to sit. And then you, and I got true. here and I wanted to sit, so we'll give you something. Yeah. Give us some coffee. Yeah. So, so we've got some synchronized some sipping. Yeah. Or, you know, throwing a drink over your shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta love it. It's second life. Of course, we're gonna you know, drink like that. Smack my drink straight into my face. Right. Yeah. All right. So we're at the uh, weekend sale plaza. So um, yeah. butterscotch is the actual sponsor, though. So well, they both. Well, they both are. Oh, the truth. So, they are. That's mm -hmm. right. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So um, it's man stuff. So I'll let you talk about it. Sure. So the the fliff item is the Conrad pea coat. Mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, and I love this. I'm going to absolutely rock this for winter uh -huh. and such because that looks like a very warm and kind of thick uh, coat. I mm -hmm. like that it comes with the scarf as an add-on and mm -hmm. built-in turtleneck. Yeah. So that's like a whole vibe and I am here for it. So it looks like uh, the individual colors are 50. I went ahead and got the fat pack for 750. Mm -hmm. And yeah um of course we also have a couple of shoes which i also had to pick up i really like the sandals i'm a big fan of the sandals like mm -hmm. i already liked their kai sandals so yeah. having more sandal options from butterscotch i'm all about that mm -hmm. the cyrus sandals look really nice yeah yeah and uh their hairy boots great That's, that sounds funny like you're saying hairy like yeah. lots of hair but you're saying I know. hairy Harry. Boots. Harry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Good options all around. Those. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to put a style together around that Conrad coat, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. No, so you're let's have a look. That. 
Yeah, let's have a look over at Tori Torricelli. And lady things. So you have the Leah blouse. And mm -hmm. as as typical, it doesn't fit me. <laughs> Although yeah. she does, I'm assuming she, but they, the, the designer, has made some reborn things in the past. This just is not one of them. So like the thing for Saturday sale. Leah blouse, um, soft sheer, sharp sheer, and opaque. Okay. Mm. What does that soft sheer, sharp sheer? Uh. I've well, not heard it described as that, but it just, to me, I understand that they're talking about levels of opacity. Yeah, um, maybe. So, I don't know. And then uh, sleeves, and apparently a sleeveless option, as you can see in the picture. Right. Um, and so then for 50 Linden, you can get, I guess, individual colors, right? And then the fat pack is on sale, right? Yeah. So, and then what what are the prices on those things? Oh, so those the the fat pack is seven fifty. And the individuals are each fifty because mm -hmm. yeah. And the Saturday sale item does fit me, as you were pointing it does. out earlier. Yeah. So, um and that thin little belt wouldn't be a problem. Although, you know, I tend to avoid belts. Um I right. also actually like the shrug on this because I it love doesn't the shrug on this. it doesn't crowd the boobs and that's usually and It looks a like it's got some nice fun uh yeah. patterns. Yeah, I'm definitely going to pick this up. Well, so. at least one pattern. It looks like the others are solids, but still lots mm -hmm. of accessorizing mm -hmm. that can be done with that. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. how much are the how much is the fat pack over there? Uh well, each each item individually is 75 there uh -huh. and the fat packs are going to be 750 and 750 for the top and then bottom. Okay. All right, very yeah. good. Well, I'm going to pick these up and then we'll keep moving. Okay, sounds good. All right, Tour. I'm not going to ask you where we are because I see over my shoulder where we are. And where are we, Consuela? We're at offline because I can read. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then you also made sure that I left the... Um, the sales plaza over there at Butterscotch and Tori Torricelli with a beverage. Yes. And this is a, uh, you, you were, we were talking about pumpkin spice and yes. I'm not, I am in the minority, I suppose on people who are not huge into pumpkin spice. Um, but you know, it's second life so I can pretend. And yes. so I was looking for pumpkin spice in my inventory and I found this like coffee talk, cold brew, um, pumpkin spice from rain because rain mm -hmm. makes some fun holdables and they you can change the sticker on this at first it said anti-bitch serum which would be <laughs> false because i'm still very bitchy and no amount of anti-bitch serum is going to fix that right now but um of the choices it was the one that jumped out at me was this one which says i run on caffeine chaos and cuss words yes which is true yeah. <laughs> so that's what i went with so perfect absolutely yeah. perfect yeah so we're at offline and yeah. they have Miffy. Two offerings. Oh. They, they have Miffy, yes. Oh, and the one behind us. Oh, the like the sexy sexy maid. Yes. Oh, we and it comes with, with food Miffy, clutter though. too. It does. Alright. So which one do you want to start with? We'll start with Miffy. Alright, Miffy. Um Miffy is just sexy cute, I suppose. If it's my Treya, yeah. Freya, Hourglass, Legacy, Cooper, and Reborn. Each color would be fifty Linden. And then um, there's probably oh, there's a fat pack. I don't know how much. There's the fat a fat pack. pack, which is thirteen hundred. Okay, and then it over does look oh. like each color gives you a headpiece, so you get okay. the little bunny ears. So you could be like oh, sexy bunny, like Playboy sexy bunny. bunny. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sorry, I'm adjusting my fan over here. Um, mm -hmm. Then Neve, Nev. Neve made dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Neve, yeah. Um, made dress with food clutter. What is the food clutter? So is it? It looks like it's the tray and maybe well I don't know. Oh, it's if brains! It's brains on Oreo, and then that's fun. then some kind of bloody drink because it's Halloween. Yeah, I suppose that's what's yeah, going that's on. Not, right? It's not my kind of food clutter. Because <laughs> then the other offline that's their happy weekend is also like a nurse oh, yeah. outfit, but like bloody. Oh, there's the food clutter. It's over there by the other outfit. Okay. So okay. you see, it's the brain cookies and then like bloody pitcher. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. I see that. Okay. So, yeah, I'm sure Mama Lala picked these up. 
Yeah. So, but yeah, 50 linen per color. There's a fat pack. How much is the fat pack? Oh, the uh, fat pack is going to be 1300 again. Okay. Very good. Yeah. All right. So are, we good to go? are we good to go? We are good to go. All right, Tour. I know where we are. Where are we? See, I was waiting for you to ask. I was like, don't make me tell you to ask. <laughs> 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 Roslyn. We are at yes. Roslyn. And this is the Roslyn. Kylie outfit. Kylie, yeah. yeah. It's a fun little number. It I is. like the skirt slash short. I do, that's too. That's going on here. She's got, a like, an ice beverage, too. She does. Oh, and it's fun sleeves. Do you see that? I do, oh, yeah. I'm sold. Okay, so Gen X, Classic and Curvy, Kara, Cupra, Legacy, Maitreya, Reborn, and Waifu. And Waifu. Available in 10 plus color options. Fat pack includes everything. And yes, sold. Okay, so 50 London per color. How much is the fat pack? The fat pack is it's 800. 800. I'm going to buy the yeah. fat pack. And I don't know if I For mentioned sure. to everybody on camera at one point that I actually won the Rosalind giveaway. You know how groups do the, like, thank you for being in our group kind of random giveaway? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some add the added layer of that you were in the store. So I don't mm -hmm. know, I guess if they have something to track, you know, like avatar visitors and record the names, right? right. Um, and then put them in a raffle. But it was random surprise. And I think, I wonder if Rosalind does it that way too, because I felt like I had just been at the store because of Fliff. And then mm -hmm. I was, I won the prize. Like I won the fat pack of the outfit <laughs> and I'm like, thank you That's so fun. much. I love you. So, yes. um, I don't usually win those things. So it was kind of fun. <laughs> so I'm going to pick this up. Um, then I can see over here. They also have, um, Elvira dress for happy weekend. Aww. Again, I can see mama Lala in that. It looks like they have bloody and clean versions. They have fun sleeves there too. Yeah, I might have to pick that one up too. With Anna. I, I don't wear the bloody version though. True. Yeah. Mama Lala does that for the both of us. Um, no, no wife on that one though. Just yeah. One. And this gal up here, she's got, she's wearing the outfit, and she's got a warm beverage. Yeah. Uh -huh. I like this girl. Look at her. Where's her hair from? Where Can is you find her hair that from? out? That is going to be MWDLS. Okay. Let's see. Can you link me because that's a fun hair I, I want. Okay. Yeah. I, I got you linked. Thank you. Because I know they do it with like flexies, but it's a good, they do it well, right? Like some yeah. people like to poop on the flexi thing. Like, oh, it's so 2007. No, nope. You can still do that nicely. So, Absolutely. I don't know about bling though. Bling is like, no. <laughs> Although yeah. again, Mama Lala would argue with that. But, she, she may argue, but you yeah. know, she can be wrong on that point. She can. But I, I really like I like the, this gal modeling it. She's doing it perfectly. She's yeah, killing absolutely. it. It looks great. And it she's does. got a warm beverage, so she's winning. Oh, I like that she has the warm socks on, too. Oh, yeah. That's adorable. Like, yep, it's cozy. <laughs> just, but I'm going to let one leg hang out. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's cool. And then over here, oh, they do have a, is this a costume? Um, the oh, it's a outfit. I was gonna say, I thought that said chef. I'm like, that's a chef outfit. No, shell. Shell. From, uh, oh, yeah. she's trying to be like Aladdin though, like with that long hair no. and stuff. Well, no, this is. Oh gosh, what's the? Is it a game? No, it's this is a uh, who? I can't remember what. It's from an animated film. You've got us all. Roger El Dorado. Okay. Roger El Dorado. Okay. Sorry. So it is a costume. Yes, it's a costume. Yes. Okay. Well, I and think she's you know. got the look down pretty well. Yeah, well, Rosalind's hooking me up with the costumes. We got Elvira, we got Shell. Mm -hmm. You know, I can do that. Is there anything from yeah. Rue or anything down there? Whoops, some dragon stuff off my other screen. Hang on a second. Well, let's see. Rue has coffee of some sort, iced coffee drinks. Okay. Which, uh, yeah, and. And they have a fat pack, and it's My Story compatible. And this is what she's holding in the picture. Yeah. <coughs> Also, okay. a nose ring and a septum. Okay. Yeah. I was adjusting my. I was dra I apparently had dragged something by accident. That's oat milk uh, over there, though. Oh, sorry. See? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so the, the iced coffee is rude, though. Yeah. And but the Elijah septum. I like that. Yeah. The nose ring. Does that have an eyeball? That is the, like an eyeball. Well, yeah, kind of an eyeball. Although, you know what it makes me think of? 
Um, it is. That's okay. I was just about to say it. The name of it. No evil nose ring. It's the the evil eye. Um, oh. And so okay. the reason I know this is because you know, as I think I may have shared. I don't know if I've openly shared this, but you know that I feel like I have a lot of haters around me right now. Oh, yeah. In First Life. And so yeah. I actually ordered an evil eye necklace. Oh. And so I'm like, wait, that's the evil eye from the necklace. And then I read the name of the item here and it's the evil, no evil nose ring. So I'm buying that because okay. there's, I know there's no shortage of haters around me. So, <laughs> um, so I'm going to, I'm going to wear that. Um, and then the, I like the septum ring too, because although I've been very, very partial to my moon septum, you know, like mm -hmm. my goddess septum ring, um, and then the uh, the matching bindi. Yeah, so. but it's good to have options. For yeah, sure. yeah. So I'm basically going to buy this whole plaza. All right. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds like a good sounds idea. like a good plan, right? Got to support these uh, amazing designers. Absolutely. So, all right. Was there anything else I should touch on before I? I I don't think so. Buy all the things. Okay, I'll do that, and we're off to the next. All right. All right, tour. I know where we are. Where are we, Consuela? We're at Ananas. We are. And I think we have this outfit. Cause we we do, yes. Because we did, like, a whole month of Ananas costumes last October. Yes. Although I don't know that this one made it. I don't remember wearing this one. I don't this think one. this one made it, but... We could have. Uh, we could have. Because and, and these are cute. Your bodies are alpha, so no part of me would be hanging out of it. Yeah, yeah. I want to say that. I, I want to say that we, this came out like after, after we maybe yeah. yeah. Okay. So, but yeah, so the pink and black ones are the ones that are available for Fliff. Mm -hmm. These other ones are available for seventy-five each. Okay. You can get a fat pack of all of the ghosts for. Uh, 190 mm -hmm. and yeah like you said these would work with any anything just because you can alpha everything except your head out yep and yeah and even though i have a fat head it would general. still fit in that circle yes, yes. <laughs> all right are we good to go we are good to go all right tour where are we we're at asteroid box and what do they have for us today well, it looks like we've got a Lucille necklace. Ooh. Looks like a very, very punk sort of necklace. Yeah. But also got some magical stuff going yeah. on. We've got a crystal and stars. And yeah, it's like a little witch big punky. Big old astro asteroid box lock with spikes. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. So 50 mm -hmm. Linden and you get the Lucille necklace. It's unrigged, so keep that in mind if you're lazy. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, then you get all these colors, so you've got... Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve colors and five medals. <laughs> and it's a new release for Philiff. For Philiff. And for yeah. Philiff. It's good stuff. So if that's your style, there you go. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Are we good to go? We are. All right, Tour, where are we? We are at Celeste. And I'm surprised we're not in a skybox. <laughs> I know that's been pretty common. They've been offering some pretty awesome sky boxes, but today yeah. they have what? Today they have this cool uh, monster trick or treat table. Mm -hmm. with, we got monster feet. Yeah. We got a uh, when you actually like touch the table, oh, it fine. will scream at you. Oh, my sounds are off, so we don't hear your the sounds scream. are off. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a quick little scream. And it also, if you click on the trick or treat or the lollipops, it gives you this nice little lollipop. Oh, there you go. oh, look at you! You have a lolly. I got a lollipop. Yeah. I love how delicately, like dainty, your hand is holding that. Yes. Well, yeah. You you gotta hold it very very nicely. Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> All right. Well, that looks like a lot of fun. I think we're gonna put that to use in uh, in Unity. Our, yes. Our definitely. public farmhouses. Definitely. So. That's that's a fun item. Yeah, that's a good deal for 50 London. But we do mm -hmm. we do enjoy the Celeste offerings. Yeah, they're Skybox really... or something fun, you know? <laughs> Celeste makes such a wide spectrum of things. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so. All right, we'll okay. keep this rolling. All right, sounds good. All right, Tour, I know where we are. Where are we? Glam Affair, it says so on the wall. Yes, that's And then true. you also said that there was a cool avatar here. And yeah. yeah, she got a hole through. Her. What is that? What is she? 
Is it's it the like universe? A in there. Aww. Yeah, something like that. And you can see it from the front and back. Yeah. I thought maybe she got like blown through. Because that's what no. it looks like. Something blew through her. But that's a cool effect. Yeah. So that's something called Heart of the Void by oh. Static. Okay. Oh, which that's is not a cool. store I've heard of before. But yeah, that looks pretty neat. Yeah, she has a fun look. Yeah. For sure. Right Very down to cool. the shoes. Look at her. Is it boots that she's got on? Yeah. Is it boots? No. It's well, no. no they're like platform. Oh no no shoes. yeah. She's got yeah. It's like I see. It's like a sock with the platform yeah. slippers. Yeah, that's yeah. a good look she put together for herself. It is. That's there a really go. good look. Yeah. Very well fun. done. Well done. And mm. it always reminds me of Pylea, where she's like, "You just have to have to have a unique avatar, and then we'll comment on you." She's not. It's wrong. so true. Yeah. I love her fingers <laughs> too. How she did that. Oh, she's got some weird yeah she's got the uh hypnotic and then the 404 eyes going on mm -hmm, interesting mm -hmm. yeah she's yeah. got a whole thing going got on whole, i like it she's a whole vibe <laughs> all right but we're at glam affair and if you're in the market for a skin they have was it babby baby uh, i would say ba babby babby maybe um, babby and for 50 linden you can get their basic skin line milk fair yeah. ivory sand beige honey caramel flower golden almonds Yes. So, and she's but, cute. Yep. She is. She yep. is. So if you're re giving your avatar a makeover or starting an alt, there you go. Mm hmm So Okay, are we good to go? Oh, we are. Tour? Yes. I know where we are. Where are we? We're at half tier. Oh. Yeah, because I, I like, like coming here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so okay, since it's decor, that's you. So what do we have here? So we have these lit trees, and you can get them in wood or glitter. Okay. Um, and so this I could definitely see working with a, a a number of things. But what comes to my mind, because they are these like bare tree branches, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is you could actually make this work for a more lighthearted sort of Halloween setup. Yeah. You know, if you weren't leaning too hard into the to the spookiness mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um the and bear tree which we don't well, which we don't yeah. so i think we can definitely make these work with uh <laughs> that's, whatever we decide to do that's if we have time to even decorate if Although, we have time to decorate we were talking about decorating for the fall in general not just true. halloween but halloween and, and thanksgiving true um so yeah but i had to get these anyway um mm -hmm. both sets because i think they're great uh, yeah. I can I can see a number of uses for them. Mm -hmm. Like I'm glad that they have this white one because that would work really nicely for winter setup. Yep. Um, but this would work for just all kinds of things. Yep, I agree. I think they're a good deal. Mm -hmm. So fifty linen per set, right? Yes, you get uh, four trees per set. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you see in the the bigger vendor image at the top how they were kind of pulling it into a Halloween sort of. Oh, yeah. Decor theme. Yeah. 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 So, very good. All right. Are we good to go? We are good to go. All right, Tour. I know where we yes. are. Where are we? We're at Hose, but you're not having a sit this time. <laughs> That's true. Normally, we cuddle <laughs> up on the couch, but we're not we sitting. Do. Because yeah, you don't well, want to break me. <laughs> yeah. It, it. So, what, what people don't see is... There's a lot involved with jumping through, getting animations all working, especially mm -hmm. when you have things you're holding and you've got your your birth set and all mm -hmm. that stuff. So, yeah, and we're trying to keep it moving because it's Friday night, not Saturday morning. You've yep. been at work all day. I was driving yep. most of the day. So, yep. yeah. So anyway, hose. So and they have hose. kitty. <laughs> yeah, they've got a kitty. Interesting. Kitty. So if you're looking for it. a cat skin, there you go. Yeah, that's very nice. So, and what skin tones are they offering it in? They are offering this in Pink Fairy and Dracula. Is that their are, own? Or is I, it it's velour? Those it's theirs, are right? going to be velour. Are they? Yeah. Huh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's that's really cool. I just keep looking at the skin. That's nice. That's nicely done. It is. Yeah. It's very nicely done. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Okay. So if you're looking we for a skin are. for your Halloween outfit, there you go. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You were going to say we are... We are good to keep rolling. All right. All right, Tour. Where are we? We are at Hilted. Hilted. And they don't... They have... Our platform is occupied. It Normally is. Normally we, we stand here. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't really quite fit in there. Yeah. So what sort of things do they have for us? Well, they've got a number of uh, different... Halloween sort of critters. We've mm -hmm. got a bouncy bat. Mm -hmm. We've got a chonk demon. <laughs> uh, we've got a uh, cuddle demon goat. Okay. Interesting. Uh -huh. And uh, last but not least, a little awu. A little awu. That is cute. The little awu squeaks when you click it, uh -huh. like a squeaky toy. Okay. Wait, the demon goat does too. Do they all? <laughs> No, just those two. Okay. That's cute. So <laughs> 50 linden cute. each. That's adorable. Yeah. Again, I think Mama Lala is probably going to have all of these. I imagine so. so. Yep. Okay. Are we good to go? Yep. <laughs> all right, Tour. I know where we are. Where are we, Consuela? We're at Lock and Tuft. You're right. And they really feel the season. They, I knew, and you actually warned me. You're like, okay, brace yourself for Lock and Tough because yep. they go there. They go there at Halloween because, like we talked they about, some people really like there. that sort of thing. Yep. We are not. We are, you know, the type that would de decorate with like cute monsters and stuff. And yes, now we and have lots of candy. <laughs> true, true. And lots of cupcakes and like Halloween themed desserts and just yes. plates oh, just overloaded with sweets. Yes, but Absolutely. that's not what Lock and Tuft has for us here. No, we have face razors and uh -huh. a cleaver. Gotcha, gotcha. Neither are things that should go into the head. Nope. But, but here they they've done it. They've gone there, as mm -hmm. you say. <laughs> yep, they went there. So mm -hmm. fifty linden each, and they're unisex, and I'm sure they come with the blood. Um, and yes. it works on the Luca Evo mm -hmm. X. Um, yeah. So if you're into the gory Halloween scene, Lock and Tough has you covered. Yep. So are we good to go? We are. <laughs> Tour. Yes. I know where we are. Where are we? We're at a man store. You should probably announce it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> We're at Modulus. Modulus. Oh, look, that dude like it looks like he has the style that uh, Rosalind was pulling off of their dress. Oh, uh, yeah. He's got like a short leg and a long leg. Anyway. He does. He does. I'm going to push him on that. Oh, there's more there. There's like, oh. It, well, no. I was going to say, is this junk there? No. Nope. I can't tell. It's just really flat. It's just bunched up. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's just, that's just how it's twisted. Although from a certain angle, it looks like his junk is out there. It does, but. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that dude's junk. We're at a man store. Oh, look at this curvy girl. I got distracted yeah. again. Sorry. She she's, is. She's, she's got. Oh, she looks Latina. I love it. Yep. Look at her. <laughs> Chunky. She's got big hair. She's clearly Latina, in my opinion. Where's her I hair believe. from? That is from Punklist. Okay. I've not heard of Punklist, but I will. Uh... I want to know who this is. This is. What's her name? Freya Raza. <laughs> Freya Rasa. Oh, is it Freya yes. or Preya? I see it as a P. Oh, Pre yeah. Preya. Preya. Yeah. I love her look. You're killing it, Preya. Keep killing it. All right. Sorry. Distracted. I will let you talk now. We're at a man store. Go. Uh, sorry. Okay. Yes. Hair. <laughs> so we have hairs. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Vitor and Emilio. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are both a little too short for me, although I do like Modulus a lot. I am interested, uh, just because, you know, I am going to go there. Uh, just down below, they've got a Mendez at the TMD, and I would definitely rock that hair. Mm -hmm. It's very messy. That, it is. It's messy, yeah. and it's long enough, so mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. got the bigger volume. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I do. I have been enjoying modulus hair quite a bit. Yeah. So, and I do like that they all have these, you know, multiple styles and ways mm -hmm. you can wear it. So, definitely, if you're looking for hair 
good place to come, uh, especially because you're getting a whole fat pack of hair for 50 linden. Yeah, and modulus so, is good yeah. stuff. Modulus is definitely good stuff. And while you've been talking about hairs, I've just been taking in the three couples that are standing here. Yeah, so you have yeah. you and me, and yeah. then oh, you I have see. the like I think it's the like they're both Latinos because he was rocking out, his head was bobbing for a while. Yeah, he's uh, doing there right he goes again. <laughs> And then you have the tall and skinny couple. <laughs> yep. So yep. I gotta see him closer. Out. He's like, he's gonna break his neck. <laughs> yeah, rocking out. Yes. But he's clearly with uh, Prea Raza. Yes. So, and he's a <laughs> chunky dude himself. He's thick. They're an interesting <laughs> thick couple, and that head bobbing caught my attention. I was like, that looks like it. Uh, I'm gonna break your neck with that. <laughs> oh look at this gal is she all like lanky stretched out or is it just me she's very stressed out and she doesn't have doesn't a head to, doesn't have a head interesting i'm not sure what's going on here. i don't know if that's intentional she might have bumped her head off may have yeah anyway huh. fun couples over here yeah so all right very good modulus cool hair you should come get it <laughs> yes that's where all the cool people hang out Clearly. <laughs> All right, are we good to go? We are. All right, tour. Where are we? We are at not found. Which I should have known because it's right over my shoulder, just like offline was. But <laughs> but I am surprised we're not at Le La Pew because <laughs> usually oh. it's Le La Pew with the skin from Not Found. Yes. But now we're at Not but, Found, not Le La yes. Pew. Yes, today we're at Not Found, and we uh -huh. have the hairy skin. Hairy skin in some skin tones. Yeah. What do we got here? Pale, ruddy, medium. Hinty? Uh, hinty okay. and tan. Hinty. Is it hinty or hint one? Mm. It looks like an hinty. eye. Hinty. It's hinty. All right. Well, they've got, some, they've got some various skin tones, because, you know, usually with when Le La Pue is on here, it's like just white. Like just, yes. just, just pale. pale. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> but not found is demonstrating that they have at least four Five. other colors. <laughs> oh yeah, four other colors. Yes. <laughs> so, yep. fifty linden per skin tone, right? Correct. And I don't see a fat pack. Like, if you wanted all the skins, I don't see. Oh wait, well, is there? No, that's the demo. Oh. Uh, so yeah, no, I don't see a fat pack either. Okay. Well. If you're again in the market, this would be a body skin or is it a face skin? Well, let's see. What does I, it say at the top? It looks like it's a face. I think it's, it's fa a face skin. Yeah. Because they're talking about the eyes and what yep. head it's on. So that's a face skin. Yep. All right. Because usually with Le La Pue, it's uh, body, the body skin is not found. But I'm not yeah. surprised that they make faces too. <laughs> yeah. Well, most skin designers probably do make both. So. Yeah, so it's good to know another male skin yeah. maker. Yep, and you can add some some Izzy's lines to it to give him some age. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. could definitely yeah, do that. He definitely looks like a young man. Yeah, I'm just picking out some of the others mm -hmm. uh, just out of curiosity because I don't think that I've been here. Yeah. It's possible I have, but... You know, my memory is not always perfect. Yeah, and then, you know, usually a skin change is very traumatic for you. It can be. So yeah. you might block out uh, what stores you've been to in attempting to change your skin. But it looks like they've got an assortment of of uh, younger and more mature looks. That's so good. that's interesting, yeah. That's good. But like I said, it's always nice to know that you have issues if there's a young skin that you like, but you want oh, to yeah. give it some age. Give it some. So, yep. And it yeah. does a really good job of that. Yep. Okay. Are we good to go? We are. All right, tour. Where are we? We are at Panic. <laughs> Did you say Panic? Panic. Yes. I say Panic. Yeah, I know. Panic. Okay. Panic. What does Panic <laughs> have for us? It looks like decor. <laughs> yeah, they do. They've got this uh, foyer set, the Maybun mm -hmm. foyer Maybun. set. Yeah. Maven, yeah. That's so we've cool. got uh, furniture and decor pack mm -hmm. separately. And this is very nice. So we've got like a, what would you call this? What would they call this? They Just a foyer table and yep. this stool, which mm -hmm. is 
which you look very cool. cute sitting on. I do, I do. I look super cute. Yeah. <laughs> and then your this... avatar even smiled like he's like, I know <laughs> I do. <laughs> Uh, we've got this triple candle, but I also like this um, mug that says Autumn Vibes on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Autumn Equinox. Yeah. A novel yeah. by uh, April. Bachman? <coughs> oh, you're yes. Sorry. Yeah. 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 That's a good set. So the furniture is 50 and the decor is 50? Correct. Okay. I also went ahead and picked up the Harvest Pumpkins over there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought they looked nice. Yep. And they have a cute little earring over there. Autumn Definitely. earrings weekend sale. It's unisex unrigged. That's yeah. cute, like a little maple leaf. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, I definitely like the foyer set. Yeah, it's cute. That's perfect for making your little autumn entryway. Mm hmm. I agree. Yeah. All right. All right. Are we are good, we good to, to go? We are good to go. We are. All right, Tour, where are we? We are at Pattaya. Pattaya. And what do they have for us today? They've got these uh, <laughs> funny statues with mustaches on them. Huh. They call it Rabbit Frame. That's funny. In gold and black. That's fun. That so is, is it, funny. Is it 50 linen per? Per color, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I was commenting before I started recording that the Lazy Sunday is there. And it's a marketplace sale, which I love. And I actually shopped it a little bit. I want to say a weekend oh. or two ago. Um, and you can use Seraphim and it takes you right to it. Or I think even if you just put Lazy Sunday in the search on Marketplace, yeah. then those items come up. But it's, that looks really cool. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the flooded thing? Yeah. Yeah. What do you Got like fish about fish down it? there and everything. Because huh. it's, is it a backdrop or is it a skybox? It looks oh, like a skybox, yeah, it says. Skybox, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You Neat. thinking about some kind of RP scene or something? I, well, I don't know. We something. Don't, we haven't had much time for RP. Yeah, I know. I just think it looks cool. It does look cool. Okay, very good. So if you haven't tried on Lazy Sunday, you should. It's, it's fun. It's literally like the laziest way. <laughs> so you don't need to be an SL. You just need Seraphim or you don't even need that. You just, like I told you, put Lazy Sunday in the marketplace search and all the items come up. So don't <laughs> need to be logged in. directly to you. That's right. But, you know, we love the marketplace. <laughs> we do. It's, you know, I, we turn to it often. So, All right. Yeah, I, 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 I'm always on the marketplace just browsing around. Yeah, we usually do a combination. I mean, I think I feel like most people probably do. Combination yeah, of marketplace so. shopping and a world shopping just depends on what you're looking for. Yeah. So. All right. Are we good to go? We are. All right, tour. I know where we are. Mm. Where are we? We're at Pixie Cat. Ah. And they have this sexy number, Necromancer Body. So like a bodysuit. Yeah. Or a cat suit or a jumpsuit or whatever you want to call it. Because I see a bodysuit as more like a leotard like. Right. But I think the designers use ter the terms a little differently, depending. So um, yeah. they do have Reborn on the sign, but it's Maitreya, Petite and Flat, Legacy, um, plus Perky, Hourglass, Freya, and Reborn. Nice. So obviously I need to get this. <laughs> I think that is a fun look. Yeah. And definitely would work well for a number of halloween -y sort of styles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to pick this up. You got anything else before we move along? I do not. Okay. All right, tour. I know where we are. Where are we? We're at Rain. Oh. <laughs> and it's just so convenient that I happen to be holding a Rain beverage. And yes. um, I don't know that I gave them proper credit for being a flip designer because they are. <laughs> but usually what throws me is that Rain tends to be involved with Saturday sale. But True. Rain also does come into um, Fliff. So. Yes. So they have like these. Right now. Yeah, they have these fun Halloween slides. I love these. But then yeah. I also noticed over your shoulder they have pumpkin slippers. They do have pumpkin slippers. Those are slippers. adorable too. And one of the things that stood out to me, I'm looking, I'm looking at the pumpkin slippers right now, and I think I'm gonna have to pick those up. But um, and they're for, probably full price because I don't think they're part of a sale. I think they're just full price. But yeah, the well, the pumpkins even if they're full price. They're pretty affordable. Like they're seventy five each. Yeah, that's not bad. But mm. the the one the item that's fifty linden is the trick 
tr is it tricks and treats sliders? Oh, that's okay. funny. And then all the sizes though: Gen X, yeah. Legacy, Reborn, Cooper, Maitreya, Slink, Belleza, Kids, Tweenster, and Tweendoo. TD fitted, which is totally do. Lula Beebs, Be Bebe, Bebe Youth, OG Feet, Bebe, Bebe. Youth. Bebe Toddler and Unrigged. <laughs> and Bebe Needs Snack. Oh! <laughs> Bebe Needs Snack. Yep. Yeah, Amari likes to do that one. <laughs> yes. That's a good one. That one always makes a laugh. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I, I gifted these to Mari. She needs these in her life. Um, oh, perfect. I'm sad that the yeah, pumpkin ones... Really she will. I'm, the pumpkin ones don't come in the, the toddly do, but... Whenever I see a shoe that's a toddly do, I'm grabbing it. <laughs> yeah. And especially if it's rain, because, like, you know, I've gone on my rain kick before where I have a lot of rain from my Maitreya legacy days. And uh -huh. they don't, I wish, I, again, they have a very large catalog, so I don't, I'm not okay. hating on them at all. Um, but there are definitely some shoes I miss wearing um, because I've had them for a while and she, they haven't gone back to do reborn resizing, so... Anyway, these are reborn though, and I bought them, and I'm definitely gonna be rocking them at some point this month. Yes, very good. All right, are we good to go? We are. All right, I'm leaving my interface on because we're talking to Masumi, who was in our IMs <laughs> early on, and she was yes. telling me, at least, I don't know if she said it to you too, that she had to show us her costume. Yeah, and, and I can see why. Yeah, I'm waiting for her textures to res up, but what did she say it was called if I go back in the chat? Well, she's saying the Headless Pirate. Yeah, she says, I gotta wait till y'all say y'all loaded. <laughs> okay. Headless Pirate. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's got it, like, so many parts of this that are mm -hmm. that are working for the look. <laughs> How does that work? That's so that's got a that's a it's like deformed really her heavy, head. Yeah, right? it's a really heavy avatar deform. Yeah. Huh. Oops, my camera. I wanted to zoom in and I went past her. Hang on. Oh, she's even got like a fl like a flowing cape. Yep, and has a bird. Yeah, and her her poor face is like pretty rough. Her face has had better days. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But she seems like she's doing all right anyway. Yep. Oh, oh, oh she got oh. her head back. Oh, oh, oh gone. Just for a moment. <laughs> we are totally camming you up and down and recording. <laughs> From Spa Sumi to Killer Pirate. <laughs> Happy birthday. So it's her birthday month, so her birthday's in 10 days. So. Yep. Yeah, so happy early birthday to Masumi. Yep. That's very exciting. All right, so I'll turn my interface off so we can get on with the item. You can keep talking to Masumi so she doesn't feel ignored. But I wanted okay. to acknowledge her, so. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a great outfit. That's not a look I would do. Even her her head is even dripping blood. Yep. That's crazy. In okay. mouth and everything. Yep. All right, we're here <laughs> at Rosary. And the first item, their fliff item is... What is this? What is it called? Lunette? Uh, this... Lunette costume? Yeah, Lu Lunette mm -hmm. costume. Okay. Is this a reference to something? I don't know. I don't know Lunette. Mm -hmm. But it looks like it fits Lara, Legacy, Perky, Reborn, Juicy, Cupra, and updated for Waifu. So <laughs> I'll pick this up. <laughs> Uh, is, uh, yeah. is Masumi still? She's suggesting that we, we can be Cookie Monster and the Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. Then Rosary has uh, a collab with Non Native over here with some top and short outfits. Mm. Well, they're not all tops and shorts. The first ones are. Then you've yeah. got skirt and stuff. So those are brightly colored outfits. Yeah, those are. So demo for sizes. So the demo has the sizes in it. 
but you can see all the what it looks like in the picture. So they are really well. The first one's not shorts, but all the rest seem to be, or maybe the last one's a skirt. The first yeah, and the so last are, are skirts. Yeah. All called rascals. Mm -hmm. huh. And then it looks like oh, what is that over there for Saturday sale? It's food. It's creepy food though. Frankie Pop. I gotta Frankie. get that. <laughs> and it looks like you can have like a s'more version of it too. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then what is this over here? This is a cutie skull. Looks like a cake pop or a drink. I think it's a drink. A drink. Yeah. yeah it's a drink. It's got yeah. a straw. Mm. It looked like a cake pop to me. Yeah. Well. But you know, I love cake pops, so that's probably why I thought that. You do. So, but I'll definitely get the Frankie Pop. That looks yeah. like fun. I'm gonna get this Ginkgo Leaf set. Oh, it's further down. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the decor. That's pretty. The decor. Yeah. yeah. And then it looks on the end they have like the Sims, the little Bob thingamabob. Oh yes. And then I don't. It looks like they're cursing, but I wonder if that's just them speaking Simlish. I'm not sure, but it looks like <laughs> cursing to me. Yeah. Birthday suit costume, which would just mean that you're naked. <laughs> I think it's literally a. Oh, sensor is it bar. the sensory? Oh, yes. Fun. You get, the, you get a sensor bar. Now that could be a good shopping outfit. Yes. That <laughs> that would be great. I think I'm gonna pick that one up because it, it comes with a little. Plum Bob or whatever that thing is called, right? Or the Sims? Yeah. And I then the sensory does. thing like the Sims do. That would be perfect yeah. for me because I play the Sims all the time. <laughs> yes, you do. Because you don't think... I'm, I'm getting would, one of those myself. You would think SL's plenty, but no. I, you know, because they don't have SL Go or whatever SL Mobile yet for the iPad. So right. I play Sims on my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> so... But yeah, you know, they got some good offerings here. And is this one like a pumpkin carving like pose or is it actually pump pumpkin carving? It looks like it's a it's one of those things where you do the whole yeah, interactive. Yeah. That's I cute. That up. Yeah, that looks very fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, po has poses uh, and animations. That's very cute. Yep. Okay. Very good. Do we still have uh, Masu Masumi here? Yep, she's still here. She is still here waving Killing her knife it. dangerously. Yeah. Yep. And we want to keep our heads. <laughs> so it's good to see you, Masumi. And I'm sure you'll let her know in local that we're moving along. <laughs> yes, I am. All right, Tour. I know where we are, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Where are we? We're at Trump Loil. Trump Loil, and one of my images is fuzzy, but that's okay. It'll clear up. So, what do they have for us? We've got the Regis Mountain Cabin mm -hmm. and the Chelsea Pavilion. Yeah, Chelsea Pavilion is the one that's fuzzy, but I saw it for a minute. Yeah. But anyway, fifty so. linden each, and that's gr always a deal at Trump. It is. It's usually some kind of nice structure. So, the first one is yeah. a mountain cabin that I can see. Normally five twenty-five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Trump Louis, they always make quality builds. Yeah. I'm mostly excited about this Chelsea Pavilion, though, because it's nice. got a nice yeah. small footprint of 12 by 12. Mm -hmm. And so that's like a perfect size for throwing down if you need like a, well, a pavilion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you just need like a little crowd gathering space. Mm -hmm. I want to find a place for that for sure. You should. I feel like there might still be space in Stratagem. We've kind of filled it in very I know, well. I know. We've it's getting it harder and harder well. to find spots when it used to just basically be an open field. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. but I'm sure you can find a spot for it. Oh, I found Colette. Oh, Colette's here? Yeah. Let me pull back. Where is my, where's my chubby friend? Oh, there she is. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna oh, oh, she's looking especially plump. She is. She's looking very round right wow. now. Wow, yeah, she is. Nice. Yep. <laughs> nice and round. What body is she wearing? Because I know she she crossed over. Or unless yeah. she's wearing one of those bellies, that attachments that we would do. She's in a reborn. She That's... got the reborn like that? Yeah, she must be using a deformer of some sort. Maybe. But yeah, she wow, is just in look at her. Reborn without an add-on or anything. Very nice. Good on her. 
Yeah. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> I am getting ideas. Uh huh. All right. Well, <laughs> we're gonna talk to Colette a minute, and then, but otherwise, we're good to go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, tour. Where are we? We are at True Damage. And what do they have for us? Uh, it looks like we've got this. Uh, Wednesday. Elf. Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. What is so, it? Looks is this like a, a coat. It looks like a coat shirt combination. Coat shirt combination. Kind of like a sloppy, yeah. like hoodie, half kind of mostly on, and then like okay. a little crop shirt. Yeah. But going after that Wednesday Adams vibe. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So Legacy like Maitreya it. and Reborn from the 2022 collection. Mm -hmm. That would look well stretched out on me, so that's a pass. But, you know, <laughs> if you're skinny, there you go. It's fun. Yes. It's a fun take on Wednesday Absolutely. Adams. Yeah. So. All right. All right. Are we good to go? We are good to go to our last stop. Ooh, last stop. Up next. All right. I am shoving food through my face as <laughs> per SL. That's how As you're required. Is that is yes. absolutely right. That's how you eat an SL. Except, except when you eat, it looks more lined up. When I eat, I'm shoving this like right through my face, but that's fine. Yes. Because basically, yeah. I have a fruit empanada yep. and I love it. So, where are absolutely. we? Absolutely. <laughs> well, we are at what next? What next? And it's fall hand pies. I'm like, hand pie? That's an hand empanada. <laughs> <laughs> that's an empanada. Look at it. Any any Latina totally... Latino worth their salt would know that's an empanada or Fruit empanada. Puerto Ricans call it um, pasteles. Uh, so yeah, yeah, past pastelitos. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's actually a uh, one of the food trucks that comes around my new office mm -hmm. is actually they're coming around this upcoming week. Yeah, they uh, they sell pastelitos. Pastelillos. Uh, or they call them pastelitos. They call them pastelitos. Oh, well, okay. Yep. Varying yep. names for it, but basically, most people I would think would know them as empanadas. But maybe that's just yes. because it's more Mexican influence over here. But you know, yeah. where you are, it's more Caribbean, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. But I would love to have one of these right now. <laughs> they look delicious. I, they really do. I would yeah. totally. I would totally eat one right now myself. Yeah. So, fall hand pies. Um, dispenses fruit-filled pies to eat. Bento, priority six animations. Texture options for the box. Paper, box and paper. Optional owner's copy, one land impact. These are a must. You have to put these out at Unity so everybody who comes I by definitely will. can enjoy some Well, here's pies. a question for you. Oh? Uh, as far as fruit pies go, what is your favorite fruit pie? Oh, oh gosh. I love many different types of fruits. Uh -huh. Um if i had to choose um would you do <laughs> <laughs> um you know like probably like a wild berry mix of like the okay. darker fruits like i like like a blackberry raspberry oh, yeah that sort of thing so yes. i like the dark fruits like that I, if okay. it's a wild berry anything i'm in done wild berry yeah. okay i'll keep that in mind yeah so i know Very that doesn't good. really specifically answer the one fruit but like i said if i had to pick probably blackberry no that'll work i so. can work with that yeah all right all right so we are off to um back to rock your rack unless we're going somewhere else are you gonna find us a place to sit so you can do your first life thoughts yeah i reckon so there you go reckoning again <laughs> <laughs> so southern of you all right yeah. off to rock your rack All right, tour. We have made it back to Rocky Rack. I'm not sure how well um, shrimp cocktail and oysters and beer go along with my pumpkin spice ice latte, but that's fine. <laughs> you found us a place to sit. <laughs> yep. We're not here for the shrimp cocktail. So, all right, we have gotten to the part of our video that is, as we approach the end, our final segment which our viewers really do enjoy. They really like the way you make them think about things. And I'm mm -hmm. glad they do because I've always enjoyed that. So I'm, I'm happy to share that with all 220 some odd people. <laughs> Woo. Woo. So, okay, yeah. tour, first life thoughts, all you. Okay, well, um, 
So two two different t subjects that I wanted to bring up. Um, one of them is so some time ago we discussed about I think twice now we've talked about uh, Cop City or the training facility that's going in mm -hmm. up in Atlanta, and we talked about the killing of uh, Manuel Esteban Paez Duran. Uh, I apologize if I butchered that pronunciation. <laughs> um, well, uh, the the district attorney apparently has decided that uh, the use of lethal force there was justified. Reminder that they shot a 26-year-old over 50 times. Oh um, my goodness. Justified. Uh, so the, none of the officers involved in the shooting will be charged. So, um... Did someone join us just now? <laughs> yeah, Jolene, uh, Jolene was on Sam. So oh, Jolene! To, to hop by. Our friend Jolene? Yeah. Oh, she's never made an appearance before. No. Hi, Jolene. Anyway. <laughs> and she's got the void. Uh, she does. She has it too. Well. <laughs> Are you typing yeah. to her to let her know that we're doing the end of our video? Uh, I. Yeah, give me one second. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we don't so, usually have anyone join us for the very end, but that's fine. Yeah. Jolene's welcome. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Jolene's Got distracted. Welcome. She, of course, she is. So, um, uh, so this, of course, goes to the thing that I always say, uh, where lethal force is never justified because even if. Even if you believe in the institution of policing, their job should be to deliver a suspect safely to stand trial for something they are accused of, not to execute people. Because every person they shoot has not been charged with a crime and therefore under our system is an innocent person. So, doesn't matter what they see, doesn't matter what they think they see, what they think they heard, it is never justified because it denies people their right to stand trial for things that they are accused of doing. Um, but this one, of course, is extremely egregious and unnecessary, and they really just want to make an example of people and intimidate the protesters off. I continue to be utterly impressed with the continued resistance to having, you know, basically build a training facility to get cops better at killing people. Um, but the fact that the protesters there have not been cowed and do continue to try and stop this thing being built is... I, I definitely admire that. Mm -hmm. um, the other one is, um, it's a little branching off of what we usually discuss. I just thought this was a important piece of news that I don't think is going to really get much coverage, or I worry that it's not going to get much coverage. Okay. It's having to do with Haiti. Okay. So Haiti for some time has been basically having all kinds of economic warfare done against it. So as a result, conditions there have continued to deteriorate. And as a result, which always happens when poverty is manufactured, um, there has been a rise of... Uh, like gangs to fill the vacuum that's created by people in desperation. As a result of that, this week, the UN Security Council has decided 
in their infinite wisdom that they're going to send in a security force. They're claiming that this is a, you know, a, a uh, peacekeeping effort. And I'm sure on paper they believe it is. But something that we have also discussed on here, and I've, I've discussed it at length in, in videos on my own channel, um, you cannot inflict peace in an area at gunpoint. It never works. Um, if they do this, and if they proceed with that approach, that will become another, like, Afghanistan-type situation where, um, where it's basically a military occupation protracted that will not actually create any sort of lasting stability, but will breed all kinds of resentment from the people living there. There are absolutely ways to help foster peace, and they mostly have to do with helping improve the conditions in the area and empowering the people that live there to forge their own way. And that means, you know, undermining the gangs by basically removing what people are relying on them for. Make sure people have food, make sure people have housing, make sure people have like a functioning infrastructure. Um, and people can sort things out from there. But the fact that those things have been so thoroughly denied creates that desperation that gives rise to gang structures. Um, so I am very concerned about that. Um, and again, I am sure that on paper they have, they, they really believe that they're going to be doing a good thing here, but it just, it flies in the face of decades of experience that proves that security forces are not useful, not effective at creating peace in the areas that they are occupying. So we'll see what actually happens, but that's, that's my concern. And I at least wanted to point attention there because I don't think that this is getting actual coverage. Yeah, I hadn't heard that yet, but I don't, I'm not always watching the news, <laughs> but yeah, I'm well, sure, well, you know, and you, you bring things up that <laughs> you're basically my news, which I've told you before, <laughs> like I tune in for the tour, tour news. Uh, right. And especially like this week, if you're in America, the only news coverage is the shit show that's gone on in the House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. You don't mm -hmm. actually hear about yep. what's heard about actually that. going on in the world. Yeah. yeah. Because it's just wall to wall coverage of there's a circus in Congress. Of course. Yeah, we know. Yeah, I know. And I've <laughs> definitely gotten to the point with like, okay, we've seen this a bunch of times over many days. Like yeah. it's not necessary to go over and over and over. But um right. I'm sure that you'll you'll keep us abreast of what's going on in Haiti. Yeah, I, I always, and that's one thing that I try to do is keep an eye on other things that are going on because there's, there is always just, I find that the mainstream news especially is susceptible to fixating on what's immediately popular. Unfortunately, what's immediately popular often doesn't have anything to do with like policy or mm -hmm. like or, substance. You know, things that are impacting <laughs> real people. Yeah. yeah. Substance. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, I will try and keep an eye on that story. Yeah. But it's going to be a while before there's developments because this is just, they just decided uh, to vote on the resolution. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take them a while to actually spin up a security force and come up with their initial plan, which will collapse upon arrival. And then <laughs> we'll see what actually happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Were there any other first life thoughts before I those thank are, you? Those are the things that I had. Okay. So. Well, thank you for that. Like I said, I know mm -hmm. everyone enjoys the way you make us think with your first life news. Mm -hmm. First life mm -hmm. thoughts. So, as we come to a close, as always, I just want to thank everyone for spending time with us, watching our videos, 
um, parts of it, all of it, however you watch it. Some people listen to it like a podcast. <laughs> Whatever works for you. We're glad you're here. We're glad you're uh, enjoying us. I uh, love it when people make comments, like, share, um, just however you engage. We appreciate you. So thank you. Yes, and we will be seeing you in the next flip video.